Welcome back. It's Brad Taylor at Taylor Coach in Ontario, Canada. And we're bringing you another YouTube video to show you. It's a 19-foot Taylor Coach. Uh, it's a 16-foot body or 19-foot tip to tip. It's seven feet wide. It's a new layout that we've never shown before. Um, and I'll explain it on the inside features a little bit once we get to that part. But it's got a lot of our great features, especially with all our black accenting on it, BAL jacks all the way around. They have added a power jack to the front of it to make it a little easier for lifting it up and down. A little less cranking on the arms. Nice big window on the front for lots of visibility out into the park and that. But let's take you on the inside and we'll show you the features on the inside. Now we got you on the inside of this particular coach. What we've done with it, it's got a nice little 40 inch dinette up at the front so that you can fit four people or a couple people very comfortably. It's got the overhead bunk at the front for lots of storage as well. So you can use it as a cabinet or it'll swing down as a bunk. So it's great for just storage of extra blankets, pillows, and all that kind of stuff up above. And when the cupboard's up in its upright position, it is just a cabinet. Like I mentioned on lots of them, we've got a little ledge at the front for throwing knickknacks. They do have a shoe cubby here where they can throw their shoes. They've asked for no door, so they don't have to open and shut the door for getting in and out of it. Um, up the front up here, they've got a, where they've asked for the three shelves up above with the closet a little bit lower. So for hanging a little bit there. And for a bathroom configuration in this trailer, because it is only uh, 7 foot exterior, 84 inches, um, they've asked for no shower, so they've gone with just a built-in toilet with a vanity, a medicine cabinet. And you can notice on the wall we've got some markings. This is where eventually, if they wanted to do a grab handle, they've asked for us to put some blocking so that they could do a grab handle if they needed it later for mobility when they're using the bathroom. Um, on our counter here, mm -hmm. they've got a single faucet. They've asked for a high-rise faucet as well, a two-burner two burner flush mount. We've got storage up above, your microwave, range hood, lots of storage underneath for the cupboards here. <clears throat> it does have a couple pull-out drawers here, along with a spot for a garbage can. Um, and they also have their TV hookups up here so that they can move their TV from uh, the back here up to the front. So if they're not watching TV in the back, they can move it up to the front. It has your fantastic fan, has an AC. The thing that <clears throat> is new for us in this particular trailer, traditionally when we built a lot of twin beds, it was a rear door, 7 foot wide in a 17 foot so these people have asked for a 19 foot so we've had to add two feet to get the door in on the side so now it's a side door versus a rear door so they've got two nice twin beds here <clears throat> excuse me lots of storage up above we put another little closet in the middle for them here they've got a little nightstand and they've also asked for a couple of shelves on either side here where they have sleep apnea machines and for the plugs and things so that they could run the sleep app machines in this particular coach. They have a spot where the TV can mount here as well. So for watching TV and there is storage underneath the beds. The beds just lift and there's storage underneath. Um, this particular coach when we put it on the scales come in at about 2,362 pounds. Weighing it as a dry weight um, with all the features. And this unit has pretty well most of bells and whistles right down to I didn't... Didn't forgot to mention it does have the larger fridge in it, so it's a 6.5 fridge. We turn it on, it has the light that lights up, so it's a nice size fridge and a smaller trailer. It's also still a ducted heat system. They did put a spot underneath the fridge where they have their pet if they wanted to put a couple of dishes for the dog for eating and that, that the dishes aren't getting kicked around in their main walk area as they're moving around in the coach. This is our, also in color wise, this is our designer interior colors where we have the frosty maple with the uh, uh, darker counters on it to offset it a little bit with a plank floor. Um, 
I was going to mention to you when we put this on the scales, like I said, was that 2,263 pounds, which makes it very towable by vehicles that are rated for the 3,500 pound tow capacity. And it gives you a lot of great features like the big units have, but in a much more compact with lots of storage. Um, I hope you really like the video. We hope to bring some more videos to you. It's been a little hectic with all the pandemic going on and parts deliveries and everything like that. So we're a little limited on it, but we're working real hard on it. Watch for more videos down the road. Again, it's Brad Taylor. Hope you enjoyed the video. Talk to you soon. Take care. Bye now.